Thank you, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Chen from Taiwan. We have nothing to disclose. And the end of this study is that the etiology of detrusor underactivity is multifactorial, and DO and DHIC and DU might be a sequential change of cystopathy. In this study, we want to is investigate DO patient with long-term follow-up to determine whether DO will progress to DU. So we uh, retrospective review 80 um, female patient with non-neurogenic DO and follow-up at least three years. And all patients were confirmed DO by video urodynamic study. And we exclude the patient with uh, um, neurogenic voiding dysfunction and previous previous pelvic surgery or refractory UTI and an interstitial cystitis. And the result shows the mean age is around uh, 59 years old and mean follow-up duration is 7.6 years. And among these patients, uh, around 16% uh, progress to DU. And other patients, and some patients become stable bladders, and some patients become hypersensitive bladder. And most patients, around 70 patients, will remain DO. And when we divided the DO patient into the bladder outlet obstruction, uh, we could find in the um, the changes of detrusor pressure at the maximal flow rate uh, decrease more significantly um, than uh, in BOO group than non-BOO group. On the other hand, all other parameters uh, did not show significant difference between BOO and non-BOO groups. But uh, we also found an, in, D, in BOO groups, around 20% patients become to DU. And only 10% patients become to DU in non-BOO group. In table two, we try to compare the patient according to the detrusor pressure at the maximum flow rate and the voiding efficiency at baseline. We can find the, um, the detrusor pressure, lower and lower detrusor pressure may have higher rate to become DU and worse uh, voiding efficiency may also have higher rate to become DU. So the concluding message is that the incidence of DO progress to DU is high in the long-term follow-up. And it seems that the DO patient with BOO will likely to progress to DU. And DO patient with lower detrusor pressure at the maximum flow rate or worse voiding efficiency at baseline may progress to DU. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any question from the floor? Yeah. Goring. Homer van Kuferinger from Maastricht. A, a, a very nice study, and I'm, I'm really interested in even a longer term, but also in the short term, you see already this uh, appear. Um, I have a question on the age of the patient. The, the patients that progressed to DU, did they have a higher age than the patients that didn't progress to DU, those 16%? Yes, I thank you for your comment. And we just we have um, analyzed the age, and we um, have divided patient in the older age and the uh, younger age, and then this seems no significant difference. And during our follow up, yeah. And what do you think was the reason for the obstruction in those female patients? Uh, we define the bladder outlet obstruction by our urodynamic study in the high pressure, low flow, and we found the image a lot narrowly, narrowly in the and outlet. And this is some uh, reason like um, avoid dysfunctional voiding, bladder neck dysfunction at all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you.